The ultimate reward in, in, in teaching boxing is the fact that you can give someone a gift that they'll take forever in their life. Yeah. Remember, be him. Teaching boxing isn't so much about teaching like the offensive part of boxing. Thank you. But more like a boxing lifestyle and boxing life. Everything that you go through in life can relate to boxing in one way or another. Beautiful, baby. So when I have people leave here, I don't want them walking away feeling like they could just kick anyone's ass. The most humble people in the world I've ever seen were people that have actually been inside those ropes. Hey, thank you. On my way to level up boxing, man, it is a rainy day here in Fort Lauderdale. It's been raining all week, but that's life, right? It's not all rainbow and sunshine. It's like Rocky said, you know, there's gonna be days like this. And that, once again, is some adversity that you have to deal with. And we are truly defined through adversity. One of my favorite quotes this week, I gotta work with my greatest accomplishment ever. And that's my son. Um, it's a wild story in that, you know, I could have easily pushed him into this sport. And like, we all know you can't play boxing. And I never did, but I've exposed it to him. He's met so many like legends and, and you know, he's, he's met Tommy Hearns, he's met, uh, uh, goes on and on the list, but never pushed him into the sport. I love him find it on his own. And I've, you know, taught him boxing ever since he's a little kid. And he's never really wanted to do it when he was in high school, but now he's found a great interest in it here at Level Up. And I, it, that warms my heart so much in the fact that, you know, he found it on his own and that's what I really wanted. So um, to be able to work with him like I do here, it, it, it's just amazing. It's Sunday today, super overcast, but I'm heading over to Level Up Boxing right now to actually put up a sign that the wind blew up off the side of the building. But we're gonna go put that up and then we're gonna head over to the beach for a run, Sunday, run day, fun day. And that's what we're gonna do today. Um, this week was amazing. Uh, it's crazy being a boxing coach and also training to compete as well at the same time because those two blur a lot, you know, and there's a lot of times where obviously you need to be working. There's a lot that's put into that. When you're done working, you go, okay, now I gotta go do my work. And that's what makes it hard. So this week, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't hit what I was supposed to hit in my training. Um, close, you know, and that's how it works. Um, I got about 20 rounds of sparring in with uh, my main guy during the week and then also with Kenny, who is going to be fighting um, Wow, next week in about 10 days in Tennessee, and I'm going with them, I'm working his corner, we're game planning, we're going for the W in Tennessee, so I sparred with him, then I sparred with my client, but I need to pick it up a bit, and I'm gonna do that this week. I know how this works, I'm seven weeks out now, and to be honest with you, I feel great. You know, um, I've been taking these Calmwell CBD gummies for about a week, and for me, I'm not gonna lie, as soon as I take them, I automatically feel more relaxed and chill. And, you know, I've had problems sleeping because my anxiety is crazy, ADHD, all over the place. And it seemed like they're really starting to help, so I'm gonna keep taking those too. So I got a green light right here. We'll catch up with you later. We have to level up boxing now. We're gonna put this sign up. It's in there where I need to pop it up. Rock and roll, baby. Let's go, baby. All right, there we are. It's very windy here in Fort Lauderdale. You can see whatever, but the sign keeps on blowing off. So I'm gonna throw it back up. And then we're gonna go to the beach. We don't care about a little rain. Love a love, baby. Let's get this thing up here. This rain, this rain, this rain. I'm actually gonna, we just left level up and I'm gonna pop over here to Carter Park and I'm gonna get my run in here. It's supposed to the beach because it's supposed to start downpouring any minute. 
and I definitely want to get this run out of the way and or I do not want to get sick either so Carter Park has um, an awesome turf football field for the kids here all the kids um, play their games here I believe it's sponsored by the Orange Bowl in Miami and uh, they've really put a lot of love and care into this park and in addition to this park, in um, right behind here, there's also another gym, a community boxing gym, that's run by um, Chico Rivas. And if you know who Chico is, you may not know him by name, but if you've ever watched any boxing match ever in life, you've seen him in the corner, work in the corner. Um, but he has a community boxing gym here um, called, guess what? Carter Park Boxing, right? So um, they have a little boxing gym here. He's a great guy. Uh, and I'm gonna come borrow their track for a minute and get my run in so I can get on to my Sunday and get home and start cleaning the house. All right, let's go. shakedown run today here um get it put in like a mile and a half just get around the track here and shake it out it's sunday fun day but what i like to do on a on a just a relaxing run day like today i go over all of the things i worked on this week in boxing and i pictured perfection right everything may have not been perfect throughout the week but i picture it being perfect in my mind right now and kind of run it over and start really schooling myself on how to be better so Johnny Ferrace. I was born all the way back in 1969, Long Island, New York. Boxing is, I hate to say a drug, but I'd like to say more an antidote into me, into my self-esteem. I got into a, a fight in about the fifth grade. I came home, I was pretty discouraged, I didn't do too good. My stepfather at the time had fought in the Navy. And he said, hey, why don't we go to the boxing gym? And I, for the very first time, went to the boxing gym. And I absolutely loved everything about it. Boxing to me is life. It's the ultimate unsafe place for you to have to really be raw. And like any adversity in life, if you face it the same way, you're going to be successful. Here at Level Up Boxing Fitness, I'm a boxing coach, and also another big thing I do, I help the team and the crew, but everything about Level Up Boxing and Fitness is the embodiment of life to me. <laughs> Kenny and I are sparring. He's 10 days out from his pro fight in Tennessee, and I'm going to emulate his opponent and give him those looks so we can start working on what we've been working on. He switches to southpaw, he gets a little wide, um, I'm definitely gonna have to go against some of my own boxing to do that, but I'm gonna give you the look so that you can work on what we've been working on. Yeah. So, setting traps. Setting traps, yes, that's it. We're sparring four rounds, four three minute rounds, emulating the same amount of time during the fight, and I'm gonna give him all the same looks this guy's given him. You ready? I am. You sure? I am. The ultimate reward in, in, in teaching boxing is the fact that you can give someone a gift that they'll take forever in their life. Yeah. Remember, be him. Teaching boxing be isn't him. so much about teaching like the offensive part of boxing. Thank you. But more like a boxing lifestyle and boxing life. Everything that you go through in life can 
relate to boxing in one way or another. Beautiful, baby. So when I have people leave here, I don't want them walking away feeling like they could just kick anyone's ass. The most humble people in the world I've ever seen were people that have actually been inside those ropes. Shit, thank you. I'm expecting out of him today to really start using the ranging and distances we have. And another thing we've really been working on too is um, this guy's a counter puncher and to beat any counter puncher, after you throw your punch, you gotta move your head, right? So we're working on that with him today too. So his range and his levels. There's something inside of us that just roars like a lion that makes us want to be extremely competitive, not only with the person across the ring, but with ourselves, you know? That ultimately is the true fact of winning, that when you know you can be competitive with yourself and roar like a lion, that's winning. Yes. Going. You're gonna get the satisfaction of being ringside when he gets put yeah. to sleep. Let's go, baby. For all the shit you went through this camp. Let's go. <laughs> I'll take it. Easy trade off. Easy trade off. All day. Ah! Let's go, baby. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Nine. 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 Ten. Come on, baby. All right, nice. The jab, the most important punch of boxing. Eight, reach, reach. Eight, you gotta reach, baby. Seven, come on, stick it out there, come on. There you go, all right, six, come on, baby, come on. Come on. Uh-huh, come on, five. My guy's gonna have a good job, I'll tell you that, four. Uh-huh, ah, 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 three, come on. Ah, 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 two, come on, baby. Ah, ah, come on, get it. Ah, get it. Ah, get it. Ah, get it. Ah, yeah, baby. That's what's up. This is my greatest accomplishment right here. 21 years ago next month. Hey, birth to this young man. And he is by far my greatest accomplishment. And what strives and drives me every single day of my life. I make big people. Don't notice if I throw a right hand.